Hi, in this video we'll learn how to subtract mixed fractions. So in order to subtract mixed fractions, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert these mixed fractions into improper fractions. To convert this into fractions, I'm going to multiply my whole number with the fractions denominator. So 4 times 7 gives me 28, and then whatever you get, you add that to the numerator. So 28 plus 2 is going to give me 30, so I'm going to get 30 in my numerator. And then we don't change the denominator, so the denominator is going to be 7. And now we're going to convert this into a fraction. So again, we're going to multiply the whole number with the fractions denominator. So 1 times 3 is going to give me 3, and then whatever we get, we add that to the numerator. So 3 plus 1 is going to give me 4. So I'm going to write 4 in my numerator, and then we don't change the denominator, so the denominator is going to be 3. Now you see that I have different denominators. So I cannot add or subtract the fractions unless I have the same denominator. So my denominators are not equal, so I'm going to make them equal first. To do that, first of all, we're going to find the least common denominator or least common multiple. So to find the least common multiple, I'm going to write here 3 and 7, and I have to find the least common multiple of 3 and 7. So let's write the multiplication table of 3. That's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24. I think I don't have to go that far. And here I'm going to get 7, 14, 21, 28, and so on. Now, what is the least common multiple? These are the multiples of 3. These are the multiples of 7. Which one is the least and common multiple in these two? We see that we have 21 in both of them, so I'm going to circle it. And now we know that the least common multiple is 21. And I'm going to use this to make my denominators equal. So I know that LCM is least common multiple is 21. And now what I need to do is I need my denominators to be 21. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like this, 21 in the denominator. And here also I'm going to put 21 in the denominator because I want to make my denominators equal to 21. Now I'm going to write my fraction here, 30 over 7. Now think about this. We're trying to generate an equivalent fraction. What do I multiply uh, in 7 to make it equal to 21? Well, I can multiply this fraction, uh, the denominator. I can multiply my denominator by 3 to make it equal to 21. Now, if I multiply my denominator by 3, I would also have to multiply my numerator by 3 because I need to keep my fraction balanced. I can't just multiply the denominator by 3 and leave the numerator as it is. I can't do that. So 30 times 3 is going to give me 90 right? So I can replace this 30 over 7 by 90 over 21. That's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to replace my fraction 30 over 7 with 90 over 21. So I'm going to write here 90 over 21. Then, I, then now I'm going to generate, I'm going to make an equivalent fraction to 4 thirds. So 4 thirds is equal to, I want my denominators to be 21, that's for sure. Now what do I multiply 3 to make it 21? Well, I can multiply my denominator by 7. So if I multiply my denominator by 7, I would also have to multiply my numerator by 7 to keep my fraction balanced. Now 4 times 7 is going to give me 28. So I got 28 over 21. And since these two fractions are equal, they're equivalent fractions. 4 thirds is equal to 28 over 21. So I can replace this fraction 4 thirds by 28 over 21. So I'm going to write here 28 over 21 um, in place of 4 thirds, right? Now you can see that my denominators are equal, right? So I can go ahead and subtract these fractions. So when you subtract the fractions, first of all, you see whether your denominators are equal or not. The second thing you do is you only subtract the numerator, right? So we're going to subtract 90 minus 28 is going to give me 62. And then we don't subtract the denominator, so the denominator is going to be 21. So I got 62 over 21. Now see, this is an improper fraction because my numerator is way bigger than the denominator. So I'm going to convert this into a mixed fraction by using the long division method. So let's divide 62 by 21 real quick. So 21 will go into 62 two times. 21 times 2 is 42, so I'm going to put 42 here. And then 62 minus 42 is going to be 20. So this is my remainder. Now for writing the mixed fraction, I need the whole part and the fractional part because this is a mixed fraction and mixed fraction is made up of the whole part and the fractional part. So to write this in the form of mixed fraction, I need to write the whole part and the fractional part. So my quotient will become my whole number 
and the divisor and the remainder will make my fractional part. So remainder goes in the fractions numerator and the divisor goes in the fractions denominator. So my answer is going to be 2 and 20 over 21. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.